and I'm gonna show you what's in your first box. So let's see what's inside. throw away your box think again the box is great for a couple of activities we cover in the other videos such as the rubber band splatter painting and the marbles so all you would have to do is cut off the one flap then you can set up your box paper fits perfectly right inside and then you can get to making some art so each family will get one tablecloth and um, these are great, they're reusable, you can wipe them off and they're huge. They should cover an entire table and plenty of room if you have siblings or friends that you want to do art with. So before I show you everything in the box, I'm going to set the table like I'm about to make some art. Now we're set up, we have the tablecloth down, we're wearing the aprons provided, there's one per kid. And now we're ready to go over the art supplies that are in your box. Each box includes two types of paints. Both are washable. Um, there'll be a variety of tempera colors and as well as uh, watercolor. And we've also included a paint tray with a lid. So if you mix your own custom colors or you're only using a little bit at a time, you can add it to your palette and work from there while also having a lid to cover it up if you want to continue your art project later. And we also have several tools to paint with. Um, everyone should receive a pack of paint brushes. There are seven different sizes in here. These brushes are good for both watercolor and tempera paint. You'll also find this bag of mixed goods. These are alternatives to paint brushes and inside you'll receive some things that are covered in the tutorial such as rubber bands for snap painting, marbles for painting with marbles, and pieces of cardboard for scrape painting. And as you'll see in the other video, um, that's when you spread the paint and mix colors by dragging the piece of cardboard across. Um, the same technique can be done with popsicle sticks, so those are included as well. And we've also included Q-tips in case you want to make polka dots or you have some small errors to fix or um, you need to clean your ears. You'll also find some masking tape. It's half inch thick, which is very nice for some detail work. And we go over in our tape video um, different ways to use tape in your paintings. This tape can be used on the chap made canvases. Uh, the big real canvas that you'll find in your box or the multimedia paper, 30 pages of it, that um, you'll also find in your box. As long as we're talking about paper, we also have some instructional cards that we've created that have pictures on how to do the projects that are in the video, as well as some tips and techniques that aren't in the videos that you can try out as well. Lastly, we have the chat pack. So that is this baggie full of fun. These are all additions that you can add to your creations, things that you would have found while working with chat. We have glitter glue, which works just as well as regular glue, but has a little extra sparkle. You can create de designs with that or um, use it as glue. We have loose glitter. Again, your parents will appreciate if you use your tablecloth um, when using glitter. We also have a mixed bag of sequins. These are fun additions to anything. We have feathers, regular glue stick, pom poms. This bag is a mixture of googly eyes and sparkly gems. We have some colorful buttons, some pipe cleaners, and a mixed bag of beads. We decided to include the beads even for this paint theme box because beading is a part of everything in every location that CHAP is at. Um, so in here you'll find one keychain so you can make something super special or like some kids have done before, you can actually glue these beads to your um, art pieces to create a three-dimensional design. So that is the first chap in a box. We hope you enjoy these materials and we'd love to see what you make and please let us know if there's anything else we should include in the next box.
Thank you and have so much fun.